What's up everybody, it's your boy Burnout Bobby. Welcome back to the Burnout Bobby YouTube channel. Today's video, I got my new seat in that we put on the bike because I'm not using that factory ruckus seat. If you haven't watched the series, I'm gonna stop you right here. Go back, two more videos. I go over this new build that I'm doing. Please watch it, like it, and subscribe to the channel. I wanna help get these views up and, and start growing my channel to the community. So any help and support would be greatly appreciated. Also in today's video, I will be going over my carburetor setup. I'm going to be putting my carburetor manifold and clocking flange onto the motor. Uh, this way, when I do bring my bike over to the fab shop and Bert can weld up the seat, he'll know the clearance levels that he has. And then after that's done, I get the bike back. I'll start doing the bondo work and then it's off the paint and powder. And then after that comes like final assembly, wiring up the bike and then we'll get first startup. So I'm really hoping that this seat issue goes smoothly because it's gonna be completely custom. And I have a few pictures that I drew that I'm kind of basing it off of. So we'll go from there. By the way, I don't know if you guys know, I got my first sponsor for the channel. It's a company called Asphalt Killers. They're a vehicle clothing company. So they do a bunch of cool clothing designs. I have two shirts on order that will be coming in the mail this week. So I will be putting that in the next video so you guys can check out the clothing. It's supposed to be high quality clothing. They do stickers, they do all types of car stuff like you see at car shows, but it's just supposed to be in the quality. So that's what they take a lot of pride in. I will put the link below for the website. Check it out, asphaltkillers.com. I also have a coupon code to use that you can put from my channel. It's 10 off AK. So it'll give you 10% off anything that you order from the website. So be sure to check that out. For right now we're just gonna get started and make our way to the new build. All right, so where we last left off, I showed you where we were at with the short frame, where we got it cut down, the motor we assembled, the tank cover side steps, worked up to the battery box, and just put the handlebars on with oop, the forks and then the new LED bar setup. So with my seat, I'm going to be going with a single style seat. This right here is a cheap seat, but I'm using this for a platform. So basically, it came with this little bracket like so. And the seat's going to be able to focus on this. There we go. The seat's going to be able to swing open and close. And the goal of it is to be somewhere in this vicinity. And I could lift it up, drop it down. On the back side here, where that bar is, I'm going to have another bar going across. And that goes to these two nubs right there. And these two springs go underneath it, so I get a little bit extra rebound. So these are going to be somewhere either on this frame, or I might well have another bar welded right here. Put these in that spot, and then have the solo seat going across. If that's the case, where I'm not going to use these, I will be cutting these tabs off and then grinding this down flush so, since it's not going to be needed and I want something sitting up like that that's going to be in the way. That's the plan with the seat and of course I'm not going to leave this cover on because you can see it's already lifting right there in the middle and it's brand new. It's some cheap vinyl material. So what I'm going to do is take this cover off after we get everything all said and done. I'm going to have the seat go out to a, a real upholster company and they're going to put some foam in it because this is very hard and then put a new seat cover on it that's going to match the design that I'm looking for. That's the plan with this. I really, really hope this works. I think it would be a really cool idea to do. Then for the next setup here, I went with the all black NCY manifold. One of the OKO carburetor. I already put the jets in. I did a 115 with 32 idle. And then we have our TRS all in one clocking flange. 
Look at that machine work though. It's a shame I'm gonna powder coat this because if my bike was gonna be polished or raw, that would look awesome. It's got the 30 millimeter inlet here, so it works with the big bores. So that's what we'll be putting on today. I'm gonna pull the bike out. I do need to get a bike lift. Maybe if these videos do good in the series, then I'll be able to get a bike lift and put it in here and make the videos a lot easier. And then I'll put like a nice light right there on the ceiling so I can see. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the camera and we'll get going on this. So you see I got the manifold on here. I went on ahead and did the clocking clamps. You see right there. Now if you notice this one has a, a strange cut in it. It's because it fits over the factory plastics without you having to do any type of cutting. So the old ones used to have to take a Dremel and, or a knife and cut around the plastic so that the clocking clamps would fit. This one clears so you don't have to worry about that which is awesome. I just want to loosen this up. I will be running plastics. I know some people are probably going to ask, hey, why do you have no plastics on there? It's because I'm getting them cleaned up and then I'm going to repaint them, put them on. But right now for the fitment, I don't really need them because I just need to see where this carver is going to sit. And then I could go ahead and leave it like this for when Bert is ready to take my scooter in. Give a little... Oh, a little shove. So now I got the carburetor in there. Wonder if I have a spare filter. Put a filter on there right now so I can stealing parts off the black and gold bike. Never. Okay. So I'm gonna. Slide this over like so. I might have to get like an angled one. We have an angled one that points the filter that look like a small 40 degree angle. I might have to do that and point this one at like a downward angle to give me as much room as I can. But that's why I'm doing this so I can test for fitment. So now I see, and the cable is going to come out and do a 90 right here but now I see what needs to be done and where my seat needs to be so my seat's going to have to be at least right here so it's going to sit a little bit higher and I guess what I'm going to have to do is these factory seat points maybe make a bar that comes up and makes like a horseshoe over this filter and I can mount this to the bar and then same thing with the back of the bike, I will have to make almost like another horseshoe bar and put the springs attached to it and this way I can lift the seat up anytime I want and go ahead and get to the carburetor if I'm doing any tuning or whatnot and then slide the seat back down. So that's the plans for this build. I mean, I'm pretty excited about this. It's definitely different and it's more time consuming if this was just a regular like off the parts bike or off the parts build 
that I'm doing from the shop, I probably would have already had everything off at powder and ready to get back together for the final assembly. I know this is a short video. I'm trying to put out as much content as I can on a more frequent basis rather than saving everything for one video and dropping it like once a month. So I'm gonna try to get videos out at least every two weeks. It may only be five minutes, five, six minutes. It is what it is. It's something for you guys to see where I'm at right now with the build so you can catch up and I guess stay more up to date with what's going on with the build. So as I keep getting more parts and putting them on rather than saving it all for one video and just doing a time lapse, I'm gonna try to give this a shot where I can, I get the parts, I put it on, I record it, I show you guys. Let me know if you like that better or if you like just to put everything in like a long time lapse, like a 10, 12, or maybe like a 12, 15 minute video, or if you like these small five minute updates with the build. Put a comment below, let me know. Again, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And in the next video, I will be probably dropping it off to the fab shop and then going over, maybe I'll do a little uh, vlog with Bert, our fabricator, and see what he thinks we should do to make this work. Thanks again. Man, look at that scooter. Ooh, that thing is clean. But hey, for real, do me a favor. Check out one of these two videos right here. You got this one on the right, and then you got this one on the left. Either one of those, if you click on it, you're showing the channel some love. All right, guys.